In this demonstration, we're going to have a look at how we install a configuration manager primary site. What I've done here is I've mounted my media, ran through the splash.hta screen, and that brings me into the installation screen. So we'll select install. Then on the installer screen, we'll just select next. I am installing a configuration manager primary site, so we'll select next again. I'm just going to use the evaluation edition of this product and select next. I'll read through the license agreement. I'm happy with the license agreement, so I'll select next. Now I do accept all of these license agreements, so I accept the license for SQL Express. I'll accept for the SQL Server 2012 native client and also as well for Silverlight. If I didn't accept these, I wouldn't be able to select next, so we'll select next. Just on my prerequisite software, I am actually going to use previously downloaded files and we'll just browse through and we have them on our E drive. And on our E drive, we've got our config manager folder and I have my redist and we'll select OK. And then we'll select next again. This will just take a little while just to verify the download prerequisites. So we'll just pause the demonstration and return back once the verification is complete. I'll go with English and select next. In the case of the client language selection, I'll go for English again and select next. And the next thing to do is just fill out our site information. Now in the case of the site code, this is a three character code, so I'll put in LON. In the case of my site name, I'm going to call my site name a datum site. I will also install the configuration manager console as well. And then I'll select next. On my primary site installation, all we're going to do at this point here is going to install our primary site as a standalone site this is my first server and I'm not going to have any additional ones then what we'll do is we'll select next now as you can see here it says I have uh, selected to install this as a standalone primary site I can expand the site into the hierarchy at a later time by installing a central admin site do I want to continue yes I do my SQL server will be lon-cfg.datum.com and my database, I'm happy with the same underscore LON, and I'm happy with the service broker port as well of 4022. So at this point, we'll select next. I'm also happy as well with the locations for the SQL data files and log files, so we'll select next at this point. I'll just verify that lon-cfg.datum.com is my SMS provider, and select next again. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to configure the communication method on each site system role. And what we'll do is we'll select next again. I'm happy with the install management point on this fully qualified domain name. This is what the clients will communicate with. And I will also install the distribution point here as well. And we'll use this for distributing software and software updates. And then what we'll do is we'll select next again. I don't want to join the program at this time for the customer experience program I will select next have a quick read through the summary of the settings we're happy with everything here and we'll select next again now as we can see set was checking for potential installation problems if any are found it will display details about how to resolve them now in the case of the installation this will take up about 30 minutes we're not going to sit and watch this so what we'll do is we'll just pause the presentation and return back once the installation is complete Prerequisite check is now done, so now we'll click begin install and again pause the demonstration and return back once the installation is complete. And the installation is now complete, so what we can do is select close. And that ends this demonstration of installing a System Center Configuration Manager primary site.